Hey, what's up? Carl here. Now today I'll be going through my top five features of Final Cut that I've got. Nope, 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 nope. Top five is too cliched. My fantastic five. Nope. My epic five. Nope. Mm. Hmm. My prized five? No. Hmm. Well, welcome to today's video where I'll be going through five features of Final Cut that I've grown to love and use a lot. My greatest five. No. No. Um, just get, get, get to the video. I'll, I'll work on this. My favorite. Probably the most obvious one, this tool was introduced at the inception of Final Cut Pro 10, and I thank Apple for it nearly every time I edit. I love it because it's a highly effective way to see Eclipse contents without going into too much detail. When used in the timeline, I like it due to the fact that I don't need to hear the subject talking about a gas powered stick for the umpteenth time. I can, however, see the mirrored half tone color channel converted effect I applied, or thought I applied. I will say this though, I wasn't really a fan of it being used for audio scrubbing, particularly in the timeline, as I found it a bit too jarring. But thanks to modern day science, you can turn the audio scrubbing feature of it off and just have the scrub tool scrub video. Pretty awesome stuff. Another one that's more than likely obvious, especially to those who use FCPX, but not an edit goes by where I don't rely on this feature. The efficiency it brings to my workflow is indescribable. I've saved so much time because of it. Time I've used to befriend a polar bear. Okay, maybe not. But you see my point though. When used in conjunction with keyword collections, the project organization is nothing short of epic. I also love the fact that someone at Apple had a sense of humor because the shortcut keys for favoriting, unrating, and rejecting clips are F, U, backspace. That's awesome. Whoever came up with that idea, I salute you, sir. Or madam, or, or both, I suppose. My whimsical five. Coming from an audio engineering background, I love the audio inspector's brilliance in its simplicity. Nothing fancy or complicated. Click here to analyze. Click here to separate channels into dual mono. It's great. I love the simple workflow to exclude connected or storyline audio when it comes to synchronized clips. And when I say clips, I mean the plural. You can change the channel configuration for multiple clips. Just another example of Apple trying to save you time, so you can use that time to buy more apps. Go to, go to the next one, I'll, I'll, I'll get this one. I know what you're thinking. The zoom function isn't new. <laughs> idiot. Yes, you're right. N not the idiot part. I'm talking about the zoom function in the browser. I've recently upgraded to a MacBook Pro 15 inch and coming from my 20 inch iMac screen size to that 15 inch is a bit of a jump. This function allows me to effectively get to a level of clip detail that my iMac could quite comfortably handle without zooming. It's by no means an earth shattering new feature, but a very useful one nonetheless. Okay, now I'm starting to see that idiot thing coming through. But before you mock me, it's not necessarily the paste attributes function I'm loving. Well, I, I do love it. I mean, who wouldn't? But there's an upgrade that came with FCPX that wasn't in FCP7. If you paste Eclipse attributes onto another clip, the paste attributes window will pop up. 
But if you look closely, a thumbnail of the original clip you copied appears at the top. Not only that, but the clip you are applying the attributes to will also have a thumbnail appearing at the top. This comes in very handy when you are dealing with a crap load of clips in your timeline, haven't had a chance to rename them, and they all have an alphanumeric name as long as the entire coding for Windows 8. All in all, very, very handy. So there we have it. Five features favorited from a freelancer. I'm not saying I'm V for Vendetta, but nobody's seen me and him in the same room together. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Maybe you have your own set of features that you've grown to love and favorite in Final Cut like I have. Maybe you're on the verge of buying FCPX and these features helped you decide to buy it or maybe not. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's video though. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, head over to that sub button. My social links are hiding below somewhere, so do go check them out. But as for me, Carl, see you guys next week. Take care.